Hi. In our previous tutorial, we looked at how to create a custom tool using a theoretical point as the TCP, or the endpoint. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to bring in calibrated data so that your simulation matches the real world as closely as possible. What I've done in preparation for this video is I've calibrated the real tool that I've 3D printed here and brought in the calibration data from my, in this case, rapid code because I'm just using an ABB robot. The values coming down here are the same values that I found in my rapid code and correspond to the X, Y, Z coordinates of the endpoint and its orientation as a quaternion. Converting between different frame formalities is something that's usually quite complicated to do. But we've given you a special tool under the HAL Robotics tab, Utilities, called Frame. If I bring that in, you'll see that it immediately pops up as a EULA frame. That's not what I've got. So if I right click, you can see that we offer different formal formalisms of your frames to facilitate bringing in any of your calibrated data. In my case, I have a quaternion frame, so that's what I'm going to choose. And we can see that it asks me for the origin and the four components of the quaternion. I don't have an origin point at the moment, so I'm going to use the shift and up shortcut to get myself into a situation where it's asking me for just the x, y, and z coordinates independently. As I hook all of these up, it's important to note that the x, y, and z coordinates here are currently in millimeters. If I had my measurements in something other than millimeters, I can right click, come down to units, and change to the unit that's appropriate for my input. The same is true of angles and any other units that you'll find within the HAL Robotics framework. Once I'm happy with that frame, I'm going to replace the tool frame that I had previously. The simulation is going to resolve, and we can see that now the tool center point is slightly offset from the geometry that I originally put in that's highly theoretical. Now when I simulate we'll see that it's actually the tool center point that we've programmed that's hitting all of the targets rather than the theoretical one. 